Thank you for purchasing the BoaConstrictor.com Keeping and Breeding video. I'm Jeremy Stone and I'm in here working with my favorite snake, the Boa Constrictor. We've got a lot to cover so let's get right to work. You may want to take some notes so grab your Sharpie and your blue tape. I've divided this video up into five segments. The first segment covers all aspects of keeping. It's the one you're watching now. Our second segment is the male and female selection process and our ultrasound techniques. The third, we're going to walk you through our whole breeding season. You'll see breeding and babies. Our fourth is the tip segment and last will be the morphs. So let's get started. The boa constrictor is an amazing snake. It's had me captivated ever since I was a child. I love the boa constrictor because it's quite a personable animal. It's not a boring snake. It actually will get out and interact with you. Their beauty and their behavior make them a fascinating animal to study, watch, or even keep. The colors and the pattern combinations make the boa constrictor a household pet commonly kept worldwide. Their breeding behavior is mesmerizing. I love the size range of the boa constrictors. You can have a larger animal or one quite small. My experiences with the boa constrictor go way back. When I was a child, 11 years old, I got my first boa constrictor. I begged my mom and my dad to have one. I kept many different types of reptiles, but I really wanted the boa constrictor. After a lot of persuasion, my mom finally gave in. I'll never forget that Christmas morning when my mom let me have my first boa constrictor. When I opened up my snake, I started jumping all around. My dad had made a really nice homemade cage with triple locks on it, and it was the greatest Christmas that I ever had. I had no idea the boa constrictor would take me on some of the best adventures of my life. My passion for the boa constrictor has taken me on a quest.